Hi, everybody. Um, so we are in the Old Testament looking for Jesus in the Old Testament. We have a great example today uh, from Isaiah. And Isaiah is probably one of the most um, prophetic books in all of the Bible, ex with maybe the exception of Revelation. But um, And the part I'm going to read right now you know, what did it mean to Isaiah? I mean, who knows? For sure, for absolute sure, whether Isaiah knew exactly what he was pointing to or not, the Holy Spirit was moving in Isaiah to have him say these words. And I think you'll, when I read this, you'll understand uh, why. And it goes like this. It's from Isaiah chapter 7, verse uh, 14. And maybe you didn't even know this was in the Old Testament, but here it is. He says, uh, Isaiah speaking, he says, All right then, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have to say too much more uh, than that, in that, this is a direct prediction of exactly what happens to Jesus. And in fact, it's quoted um, in the New Testament as well um, as a sign that God is, um, is there. It just points out that I guess what's really been cool about this whole time of looking in the Old Testament for Jesus is um, I remember... Um, when Jesus is on the road to Damascus and uh, they don't know who he is and uh, suddenly he, uh, it says he um, explains to them from Scripture, which would have been the Old Testament, uh, how he is in the whole Old Testament. And I always wondered, why didn't they write that conversation down? That would have been a really neat conversation to have. Jesus telling us, you know, where he is in the Old Testament. But as I've been going through this now for months, and we're, we're in Isaiah, um, I see that it's all over the place. There, there's no way they could have put that in, in the New Testament as an explanation, because Jesus is everywhere here. Um, prophetically, he's in the, you know, at creation. He's just everywhere. This is a book that just the, the Old Testament or Hebrew scriptures um, is just a book that screams all about Jesus and shows how he is the Messiah, the chosen one of God who's been, who's been with God from the very beginning. Because remember in John it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So there you go. That's probably a, um, that first part of John is a, is they think a hymn that the early church sang. So go read John 1 and you just think of it as a hymn that's being sung. Um, it was such a central part of the church. So here you go. I guess I don't have much more to share than that, that they, except that God's had a plan to have Jesus come from the very, very beginning. It's been part of God's plan. And uh, we are so fortunate as followers of Christ to be part of that amazing story and plan. Well, God bless. I hope you have a really wonderful day.